Hey guys, it's Shannon. I am so excited to bring you this tutorial today because it is such a simple and inexpensive way to update your kitchen. So we had some beautiful glass tile backsplash that we really, really liked and we sort of tried to choose colors and incorporate the backsplash into the kitchen makeover. However, after painting the walls and redoing the countertops, we realized that the backsplash wasn't quite flowing the way we liked it to or matching as nicely as we had hoped. So instead of removing and ripping out all of the old backsplash, we decided to just paint it and give it a new look. The subway tile trend is really popular right now and it's also such a classy, clean look, but I thought we could just paint the tile white and give it a nice glossy finish so that it would sort of have the look of the subway tile. And I am so incredibly happy with the way it turned out and I wanted to share the process with all of you. So let's get started and I'll show you the whole process of how we transformed our backsplash using only paint and a sealer. So let's get started. Here's a look at the kitchen. This is after we did the countertops, but you can see the before of the kitchen tile here. I started by removing all of the outlet covers and switch plates. Then I washed the tile down with a scouring pad and some soap and water to get any kind of dirt and food and debris and make sure that the glass tile was clean as I could get it and then I went in with some rubbing alcohol again just to remove any residue off of the tile so that the paint would have a nice surface to adhere to. Then it was time to tape off any surfaces I didn't want to get paint onto so I made sure to tape off all of the countertops, any of the trim, and also the cabinetry. Then it was time to add the primer, and I got this can from Walmart. It was about $10 for a quart, and I made sure to get a white primer since I was going to be painting white over the top of it. For this whole process, I used a small paint roller as well as a foam paintbrush. I didn't want any brush strokes, so these two items really helped give this a clean, nice, smooth finish. I used the small paint roller for as much of the painting as I could and then I used the foam paintbrush to go in and get any of those spots that the paint roller had missed. The primer went on really smoothly. It got down into those grout lines and it also adhered nicely to the glass tiles. Once I had one coat of the primer on, I let it sit overnight so that it had plenty of time to dry before I added the latex paint. And here's a look at the backsplash after a coat of primer. Once the primer had time to dry overnight, it was finally time to paint. I used this latex paint by Kills. It's a primer and paint in one, which I thought would be helpful since I was using this over glass tile and grout and just used plain white for this. I used the same process with the latex paint that I did with the primer and used my foam paintbrush to cut in the edges and go around the outlets and trim. 
any spots that I knew that the foam paint roller was not going to get to. The latex paint went on very smoothly and easily and it actually had a really good coverage. I did end up doing two coats of the latex paint and I let it dry for two hours in between coats to make sure I had good coverage. If you aren't already, you can find me on social media, both on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll have those linked down in the description box below. You can also shop my Etsy store, which is crossingmyheart.com. And here's a look at the backsplash after two coats of the latex paint. I again let the latex paint sit overnight to make sure it had cured all the way before I did the sealer. I used this poly acrylic by Minwax. I love this stuff because it is non-yellowing and it dries really quickly. I used this gloss finish so that I could get that high gloss tile look. I used the same process again using a foam paint roller and paintbrush for applying the poly acrylic. I applied about three coats of this sealer to the tile to make sure it was nice and sealed and protected and I let it sit for an hour in between coats. Then it was finally time to reveal the beautiful new backsplash and remove the painter's tape. The two other things we did to finish this project was to add new switch plate and outlet covers and we also added some new fresh caulk around the countertops and any place where it looked like it needed it along the backsplash. Here's another look at the backsplash before the makeover. And here is a look at the brand new backsplash with our freshly painted countertops as well. If you'd like to see how I created a faux marble painted countertop, I will have that tutorial linked up in the iCards as well as the description box below. And it all just really blends and flows together perfectly now. I love the way the new backsplash just really brightens up the space and gives it such a clean, crisp, classy look and it really just brightens the whole kitchen. I highly recommend this sort of update if you are looking for an inexpensive way to renovate your kitchen without breaking the bank. It does take a few days, I would give yourself a few days for this process just so you can let paint dry in between layers, but it really was simple and easy. If you guys have any questions at all about this process, you can leave those down in the comments below. I'd be happy to help you down there. We still have a few updates to make to the kitchen, so I hope you will subscribe and follow us along as we continue to renovate our kitchen. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this tutorial. I will actually link a playlist down in the description box below, which will have all of the different steps that we've gone through so far of how we're updating and renovating our kitchen from our back door makeover, our mudroom style entry, even our stairs update. So I hope you will check that out. Also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope it inspired you. You can share this with your friends and family and inspire them as well. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can hit the bell as well so that you get notified when my videos do go live. And I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.